Good evening, Griffins. My name is Darren Brinks, and joining me on the shoutcasting desk tonight, Paula Vilvicencio. Paula, how you doing? I'm doing all right, you know. Good, glad to hear. <laughs> Griffins, we have our very own Griffin Esports in their second match today, going up against Florida Southern College. Griffin Esports played their first match today at around, uh, I believe it was 1 p.m., 1 yes. and unfortunately they fell to Converse, but they're looking to pick themselves back up. What a series we've seen today, Honestly. and I'm quite ready for this one. Paula, what are you excited for? I'm just excited that hopefully they earn more points out of this next okay, game sure. here and that yet. Hopefully that they feel more amped up about everything. Right. Having the time to talk through their last match and hopefully get an idea to what they see for the next upcoming games. Yeah, all righty. Yes, as we do know, again, they're very warmed up. They mm -hmm. are ready to go. I believe the first map is going to be uh, on Busan. So, um uh, Again, it's one of my favorites, so uh, I, I don't know. I don't, th I don't think we've quite seen this one uh, yet before, at least oh. not on stream, but mm -hmm. I could be wrong about that. But let's go ahead <laughs> and run through a lot of who our players are. If right. we can swap on over to the player cam, that would be uh, much appreciated. I'm waiting for that swap there, so... Get on the bird dog. Yes, doll. there we are. Yes, the bird dog camera. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the rundown. If we go ahead and go to that first player on the left, as we can see, Orsonix, one of the or one of the uh, support players for Griffin Esports there, ready to go, hyper-focused. Let's go yeah. ahead and move on down the line there. I believe next we have Mitya Nova, again, the lady of full emotions. Look at that <laughs> face. So Absolutely. lovely. Yeah. <laughs> All <Alrighty. laughs> So let's go ahead um, and go on down there. Yes, we have J.O. there. They look absolutely amazing, ready to go. Moving on down the line, we go to our tank player. I am also Kroot, the Reinhardt, the one and only. And then next, um, but uh, last but not least, we do have... Um, Oh, wait, hold on. I can't quite think of it. Hold on. It's almost Ninja there. Ninja Pyro. Pyro. Yes, there we go. <laughs> uh, yes, they're ready to go, ready to play. Now, let's go ahead and swap back on over to us on the game Ooh. cam, though. So, uh, yeah, I believe we're ready to go here. A lot of good cinematography happening here. Right. As we go ahead and reach the first point here, it is going to be King of the Hill. Wow, I've never seen this before. Wow. <laughs> It looks really absolutely cool. beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Great cinematography. Great cinematography. Honestly. <laughs> yes, good as we work can back see there. Here. Yeah, great. As a, or, uh, sorry. Ugh, great. Uh, completely uh -huh. think of something else. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see, the lineup here on the side of MWSU, we see the Reinhardt, the Bastion, the Junkrat, the Lucio, and the Baptiste. And then on the side of 
oops, sorry, excuse me, on the side of Florida Southern. They have the Ramatra, the Sojourn, the Widowmaker, the Anna, and the Lucio. So a little bit of uh, different characters here uh, for their DPSs and their tanks uh, and their supports as well. I believe they only share one uh, character. I think it's just Lucio. So here we are, already moving on over to the right side. And as you can see, I am also through and looking for a strong push to get way down by Ramatra. Full swing already. Duco is already going to take out Ninja Pyro. It's going to be up to MWS here to try and make a change in this team fight. Let's see pushing for now. Ramacha trying to get behind the right heart. I don't believe MWS you can really make much of a push here, but they're going to try anyways. Right heart's going to be turned purple. They have no healing, however, they are slept, and there's going to be a welcome that piece that gets spawned in. Ninja Pyro trying to go for the flank, however, I think they might accidentally. Goes down here to the Widowmaker. No, I don't believe so. But okay, so yes, Florida Southern's gonna go ahead and win that fight there. Unfortunately, uh, the Bastion cannot pick off anyone. So MWSU will need to go ahead and regroup here as Florida Southern goes ahead and captures uh, that point there. A destroyed trap though. Death Knight is gonna be able to really trap anyone there. A Venom Mine's gonna a Venom Mine is going to get destroyed. So some utility going down here already. Ramatra is definitely unafraid to start space checking MWSU as it is gonna go old three. Jail's gonna go ahead and take down Ramatra, but for what? Because I believe two are now down to the side of MWSU. Both two are just making that one is up right now though. Ready to have some great headshots there. Gonna have to rotate behind some cover and now pushing forward will be on the off of crew and Orsonic. So here they are, Arsenic can go ahead and now rotate around. What used to be our mantra is now your mantra. Jordan will go ahead and grab two to three kills there as well. So now MWSU once again swapping a couple of characters around. And again, they're going to need to regroup here and try and make that push. As you can see, Florida Southern already reaching about 70% on the point. So here comes MWSU's other push. Trying to think here. They're going to go ahead and go around from the left side. two to three there and so yeah it's going to be another reset for florida southern here they're going to now have to regroup and try and take over mwsu's defense a deflect so he doesn't get taken out there we'll go ahead and force the sojourn and lucio back tracer in the back line we'll go ahead and be going down the tube so now as yes, they are on that uh on the bottom ground here it's just one of you one between the genji and the tracer there you are though needing to help their team too that was a little bit of a distraction play lantern is going to be destroyed here can this genji blade go ahead and turn this fight around as mwsu is down by I believe both supports are down there as well. Ninja Pyro, I am also crew, is going to get taken out there. Unfortunately, it's JL left onto the point. And I do believe Florida Southern has taken over the point, so they're just going to go ahead and clear out MWSU there and go ahead and win the first round of match one in the best of three series here.
Yeah, very unfortunate. However, a good effort from MWSU as they were down by 99% and yeah. managed to get back up to about 76%. So uh, they're not quite out. It's definitely not a one-sided game. Just a couple of slip-ups there in their fights and just needed uh, to switch it up just a little bit more. As we can see, Ninja Pyro, instead of going Genji, is going to switch over to the Tracer, but now over to the Bastion T-Bucks now. Also going to swap on over to the Genji. So a couple of new... Uh, characters as we can see here uh kiriko will also be picked up by ariella j orsonix and Mitya nova i'm gonna choose the baptiste and kiriko yeah so seems that jail also wanted to swap off the junk rat and instead go hanzo so hopefully a couple of arrows can land here uh and immediately help them win uh this first fight so there it is i think he's trying to counter uh what seems to be the widow maker too a couple of pre-fire arrows here oh unfortunately ninja pyro with a little bit of an overstep it seems that mwsu is just a little bit split here yeah Oh, it seems that the Lucio is one shot. I don't think any arrows are necessarily going to land there. I think Ball might actually Ooh. take out J.O. here. And yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. So, yes, Florida Southern will already manage to go ahead and win this first fight. Trying to dash towards the Widowmaker. Can't quite make a connection with the charge. And I also crew will get taken out there. MWSU needs to just stall and wait for a little bit for them to all regroup together. Ninja Pyro managing to find Ball. Florida Southern is down a tank, so this could be huge. Seems that JL managed to switch off onto the Sombra, trying to grab a couple of hacks here, trying to apply some more pressure. Orsonix almost getting taken out by the Widowmaker. will manage to go ahead and jump through the wall, trying to regroup with their team. Heels going out, Mitya Nova almost getting singled out there, but will go ahead and manage to survive. However, the Widowmaker will manage to go ahead and find the elimination onto Ninja Pyro. Yeezy now managing to find Mitya Nova. The Genji T-Bucks managing to take out the main tank on the side, or the only tank on the side of MWSU. Zuko now taking out Orsonix, and it's going to have to be another reset for the side of MWSU. Yeezy taking a lot of damage there, but unfortunately, J.O. is no match for him. Seems that now I can't quite see. Let's see, I believe the. Right. <laughs> yeah, I believe the side of MWSU now. It seems that we have a swap off the Reinhardt and now onto the Orissa. Trying to really counter this ball. Ball is going to go ahead and ult onto the back line of MWSU. Managed to go ahead and single out Jail there as Jail tries to teleport away. Yeah, I know the grouping here is just very strong from the side of Florida Southern. They managed to grab these early picks here, catching out people from the side of MWSU. So it might be a lost fight here. Now they're going to slowly reach here. 85% uh, on, the, on the side of Florida Southern. MWSU might be looking for a last final fight here. Accidentally making themselves detected. I don't think Florida Southern necessarily noticed. On to the point now. It seems that I am also crew and Sombra are just going to solo take the point as Florida <laughs> Southern goes ahead and accidentally pushes too far forward. A hack onto what seems to be the ball. Ball's going to go ahead and get taken out here. And there goes the Kiriko as well. And once again, MWSU with a miracle capture point. Ninja Pyro managing to find a double kill on the Kiriko and the Genji. So now Ninja Pyro will be going towards that right side on that high ground. Here comes Ball. Meets Yanova, scoping out the area, looking for her teammates to go ahead and heal. Has to try and regroup. It seems that we might see a little bit of a Genji Blade here too, which will be very important. Yes, here it is. Can we go ahead and see it? We managed to go ahead and find one. Finding two. Both supports are down to the side of Florida Southern. Another dash could end the other Genji. Genji gets taken out by I Am Also Crew. Seems that Tracer managed to teleport away. A double kill on over from Yeezy. Arista's in a little bit of a tough situation here, trying to 1v1 the Tracer. Tracer's going to be forced to back off. Lack of heals here. I am also crew. Needs heals in order to prevent this Tracer from taking them out. Seems that we also are. We have the Lucio on point. Unfortunately, Jail gets taken out here. Only on 58% of the point. MWSU needs to keep themselves alive here. It's going to be up to the sports. And unfortunately, Orsonix is going to get taken out now. Miti Nova is going to be the last one standing for that support of what MWSU needs, but they're not able to stay alive there. 
Here we go. Orson XO will be go ahead and be dashing around. I think, unfortunately, doesn't quite land what seems to be the rollout. And Florida Southern College will manage to take the first game in the best of three series. Of course, now what we can say is that they're going to be looking to win this next game to close out the series. But MWSU will be looking to keep themselves alive. So, uh, yeah, maybe a couple of slip ups, I want to say here. I mean, uh, definitely by both teams. But I think MWSU just slipped up just a little bit more. I definitely like the single green dot reticule uh on this coming <laughs> on the sojourn but uh <laughs> in, in an interesting style choice i'd have to say uh but yeah so i think there, again just a couple of slip ups from both sides but uh, i think there might have could have been a small little bit of a uh, uh, positioning issue there yeah. uh that came out from mwsu with trying to keep their supports alive because once florida southern college kind of pushed uh past um the tank right and then uh it just had to be kind of one of those things where uh it, it, it was a huge positioning thing because as we saw florida southern college actually managed to uh push way past the points right all the way up to mwsu spawn and then it gave jo and i am also crew a free point and that's kind of where uh that ending of the game kind of spiraled down right. to and so uh it was a great fight but unfortunately mwsu just couldn't uh stay uh quite alive there so mm -hmm. Anyways, on from that, do you have any uh, comments you'd want to add to that? Yeah, I just feel like they like it's like just somewhere in the between of each of their matches, like in the be beginning and end. It's just they need to find that like I guess medium to where they can stay alive uh -huh. towards all that. Because then, yeah, like they had problems at the beginning and at the end to where they were all just split and not all together. No, I totally understand you. Yeah. So on from that note, though, I do believe they're right now uh, grouping up, talking together, trying to uh, reset uh, their mentalities after that game, especially it being such a uh, close game. I think what MWSU needs to do, uh, as we so did see too, uh, when it first came to capturing the point, we kind of had some people on the lower ground heading towards the point and some people on the right side trying to grab uh, some early picks there. So uh, it really just came to where our team was more split. Uh, right. But eventually, again, they started to to regroup more and that's when we see it but then unfortunately uh, it kind of happened again with those bad habits that we unfortunately see but again they are regrouping as we can see uh they are talking to their coach right now i don't know if we're able to show that are we able to show the players right now talking to their coach i feel like we should be able to but um <laughs> maybe maybe that's just yeah me. just see more know. of the engagement point i guess in uh, sense no but uh yeah uh, on from that though again we had some beautiful ultimates there as well we did see uh, a little bit of uh genji blade or nano blade uh coming in from meteor nova and ninja pyro and it did start to work except unfortunately it just kind of subsided so i do believe we're going to see a swap out here uh from one of our players we're going to go ahead uh and sub in toolets uh for dps and then uh uh, or we're going to swap uh, Jail and Tulet, uh there. So uh, just from what I can see my from my yeah. perspective. So uh, I <laughs> believe um, I believe it could also be uh, just uh, kind of those picks of uh, who can play what. So uh, I'm definitely interested to see what Tulet can bring uh, to the table. But once again. Um, Again, uh, I believe it's also kind of one of these things, too, uh, where people are swapping way too late. Uh, yeah. You know, if obviously if something isn't working, uh, you immediately want to switch that. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I how do I want to put this? Like, I choose to play a lot of Widowmaker, right? Yes. But I know that if I can't hit anything on Widowmaker in the <laughs> first 30 seconds to 45 seconds, I'm switching off Widow. Even if I'm like a 98% away from my ultimate, I'm definitely switching off of Widow there. Obviously. So uh, I don't know uh, if it was necessarily a damage output. I don't know if we should be mirroring. Um, how do I want to put this? If we should be mirroring uh, their team comps as well. I did notice, mm -hmm. though, eventually uh, we had both Kyrkos and Lucy on the team uh, mm -hmm. but I believe I believe uh, some of the players actually managed to swap off uh, to Baptiste there uh, eventually mm -hmm. and so at that point you just kind of one of the and, and Baptiste is also a very interesting character especially to me because Baptiste is kind of a hybrid a little bit of a character uh, I don't know can has an ultimate that empowers literally auto or uh, literally shots that go through it uh, he, he can heal he can um, you know he can do damage himself as long as you manage to land your headshots and then on from that yeah so but I believe the next map I believe we're about to figure out here is Blizzard World I believe which is hybrid so uh, again mm -hmm. capture the point then push and I'm very excited to see where this one goes yeah. so I believe we're going to manage to turn off uh, I don't know I, I don't know I don't know about you but Overwatch <laughs> has brought uh, or they have their day and night maps now uh -huh. I prefer to play blizzard world in the <laughs> rain all right i love rainy blizzard world 
I, I don't know. That's just a preference for me. Mm-hmm. But anyways, yes, on from that, and I do believe uh, what we haven't really seen is a variety of tanks. It's either a Reinhardt or a Rissa, uh, sure. but I believe today we actually managed to see a Roadhog, so... Uh, on from that, uh, I believe we're ready or almost ready. We're trying to see uh, if we are uh, ready or not, seeing who's on attacking and defense. Now, uh, I prefer to defend the first on uh, any map, I'd have to say. I prefer... Um, Actually, you know what? That's right. I actually prefer uh, to attack first to kind of see what I'm working with, right? So uh, I believe we're now swapping sides. Uh, I believe MWSU will actually be attacking first, but it could be uh, wrong on that one uh, as well, too. So anyways, here we are waiting for the ready queue here. Mm Mm-hmm. I believe we actually have to make it to where our players are spectating, uh, not their team, but our team. That'd be a little, uh, right. that'd be a little weird, suspicious little if we were uh, doing that. So, uh, no. But anyways, on from that, I'm very excited to see Blizzard World. You remember Blizzard World, of course. Yeah. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. A lot of great team fights there. Is uh, I believe that was uh, MWSU's uh, best map today so far. Uh, I, so, yeah. I want to say because they managed to actually uh, push the payload there. But again, that's just compared to up against uh, Converse. So. Uh, that's all I can really go off of that. Yeah. But uh, anyways, on from that, what I really want to see, though, uh, is I kind of want to see a little bit more of a variety. Maybe see a diva. Maybe, of course, as we were talking about, a uh, dive comp. Now, uh, of course, I'd want to see a Doomfist. But the thing is, I'm just not a fan of Doomfist. Every single time <laughs> I get a Doomfist on my team, they're not the greatest. They just mm-hmm. want to jump in or they just or they throw themselves off the map somehow. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> but anyways, on from that. Or you know what would be really nice is to actually see a Zarya, but uh, quite possibly we might not actually uh, see Zarya. Zarya is just not as strong uh, as I remember. Maybe it only works in uh, a, a certain team comps, but we are going to go ahead and start Blizzard World here. If we can go ahead and swap over and see that beautiful cinematography from our uh, <laughs> from our team here. Possibly. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, there it is. You see so over good. Pylon Terrace. Definitely love it. Oh, look, it's raining. <laughs> yeah, it's, again, I love this map when it's <laughs> raining, but that's just me. There's the Heroes of the Storm Arcade. I do believe, though, over to the left is actually the Dark Moon Ferris Wheel. Now, I don't Oh, Snacks mm-hmm. Rambus. Love, love the World of Warcraft references. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, they got Ogremar there too. Look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> yes. All right. So if we go ahead and see though up on the top of the screens with MWSU attacking first, they are red instead of yellow this time around. Uh, you, we can see the Reinhardt, the Bastion, the Hanzo, the Lucio, and the Ana. Not a new team comp. We have seen these characters before, but yeah, 15 seconds to get ready as we can see from the side of florida southern college as well too uh they do have a sigma which is definitely different uh a genji a bastion and ana and a mercy so yeah it's definitely gonna come down uh once again as we have seen earlier today it's gonna come down to who gets that first elimination and who keeps that momentum going it definitely defines the game here they are gonna go ahead and go left and under so as we can see here, the Bastion versus Bastion. Now you want to be careful here because into a Bastion as a Reinhardt, Bastion just melts your shield. So you definitely have to fi- uh, try and find a uh, way to work around that. Look at this speed coming out here. Managed to grab the health pack. Ninja Pyro is going to be taking the high ground. Can his team stall for an elongated amount of time here? Going to go ahead and hop up. I think they've accidentally oh. taken a little bit too yeah. much time here to get prepared for this next fight here. And as we can see, it's going to be a... Uh, I believe it's already a team ace from the side uh, of Florida Southern College. So, yes, MWSU is going to have to reset here uh, and start pushing forward. So, as we can see here, they might uh, wonder if they're going to go through the center, if they're going to go through uh, bottom left once again. Oh, manages to land that shot. Almost. Oh, accidentally jumps right into uh, the Bastion Grenade. Here we are now. A sight arrow manages to go out. They managed to spot the Bastion who was slipped. Can they go ahead and do enough damage here to try and take him out? Got to take out that Bastion. A lot of the damage will be lost if they can do it. I believe Tool is trying to find him, but unfortunately, 
can't quite get him so yes now three people down on the side of mwsu pinned can he take out the bastion no the healing coming out from the mercy is just too much but i believe they were just farming their ultimate there and now we have a shatter two minutes and nine seconds remaining left in the round here mwsu needs to find a couple of picks here now going up from the right side heading towards the center here we are i believe we're now trying to look for a, a probably a combination between shatter and the dragon arrow t-bucks managed to find Metia nova already down mm. by a support orsonix tries to heal our res's Metia nova here this might actually work if they can stall it out a sigma ultimate from the inside of the building t-bucks managed to find orsonix ninja pyro managed to find yeezy t-bucks finding a double kill taking out the other support and i am also crew managing to uh take out one from the side of florida southern uh, as well here i am also creating a little bit of a bad situation too much time was wasted there but of course a wonderful fight for their mwsu to kind of uh how do i want to put this to kind of farm their ultimates but we are down a shatter now and they can do a genji blade along with a valkyrie ultimate from the side of florida southern college can mwsu try and find the point here a uh, great dragon arrow to try and shove bastion off the point might have been not so much worth it though it's not going to be up for mwsu to try again to try and just keep pushing up in here but as we can see tool is purple can he go ahead and grab the health pack yes he does diva staying alive being pocketed by the mercy as we're targeting the bastion somebody needs to take out that mercy yeah, but as we can see here, Diva will go ahead and lose mech. Can't quite take out the Mercy now with only 10 seconds remaining. I don't even think MWSU is going to manage to grab the point here. As you can see, they're right now trying to push forward. But here comes Florida Southern College. One second remaining, and there it is. So now MWSU needs to prevent uh, Florida Southern College from right. taking one single segment uh, or one segment out of the entirety of the three segments that you can capture. Uh, yeah, so here we are now switching sides. Back to the cinematography. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 25 seconds for everyone to go ahead and pick their lineups here. I believe MWSU only really has a chance uh, to... I mean, honestly, MWSU can't really slip up in any of the mm -hmm. fights. They have to kind of win all of them uh, so that Florida Southern College doesn't uh, capture that one segment that they need. So uh, basically, this just becomes a game of uh, king, uh, defending King of the Hill. So honestly. look at that as we can go ahead and see this great cinematography reign of the Black King. I actually don't even know what this reference is. Is this a World of Warcraft reference? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but anyways. Do research on it. <laughs> Here we go. As you can see from MWSU, we have the Widowmaker and the May for, for their DPS. And then as we can see, Orsonix and Metia Nova I'm going to be playing Ana Baptiste. And once again, we do see the Reinhardt... Uh, the Reinhardt once again from I am also crew. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Three seconds. Here we go. Now from the side of Florida Southern College, we do see the Sigma, the Genji once again, the Ana, the or the Ana, the Mercy. And then now we see a Torbjorn pick coming in from Zuko. Can we find a pick here from the Widowmaker? Ooh. Managed to try and find it onto the Widow as Widow is jumping back and forth. Here's the angle. Can we find it? We need someone to try and find a pick here as Orson X is dashing around midair, trying to keep that high ground. I am also Crutes in a little bit of a bad position, being healed by the Baptiste. However, Florida Southern is gaining a ground here as they manage to take over the left and right sides trying to find 
where MWSU is right now. Unfortunately, I think that's going to be the end of the game already. Oh, it's being contested, but wow. they will go ahead and fall. I believe FSC is going to go ahead and win the series for tonight. GG, well played GG's. indeed coming in from everyone. Let's go ahead and see what the play of the game was. Came from Zuko as Bastion. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened here. Now we can see from the other perspective. Manages to take out the Rhine Shield. There it is. Manages to go ahead and help his team clear out the rest of the team. Team there oh managed to find a headshot uh, onto the hansel there so yes yeah, so a very uh earned play of the game but <laughs> yeah. paulo if you paula if you do not have any last remarks i will go ahead and end it for us yeah go ahead okay sure thing whoa <laughs> griffins thank you so much for watching a little bit of a rough day for overwatch but they'll manage to bring it back next week i have my hopes yes. again thank you so much for watching and we'll go ahead and see you next time and always remember go griffs have a good one